morning, Admirals, and welcome to this week's episode of Admiral TV. I'm Lily Rubio. And I'm Logan Brown. And on today's beautiful morning, we're going to hear a spooky story, meet with our White House administrators, hear from ECC students, and get a sneak peek from Ms. Hamilton's room. But, but first, let's see what's happening on the bluff this week. First, this week is Red Ribbon Week. Peer helpers are advocating for a drug-free campus and a life and making sure to show us the dangers of a life with drugs. If you get a chance, take some time to talk to them and understand the importance of sobriety and saying no to drugs. Tomorrow and Wednesday, our Lady Admirals are participating in the state tournament in Birmingham. To, to go and support your team, ride the fan bus up to Birmingham and cheer them on. Upcoming this weekend is Halloween, and because of that, this Friday, we can wear Halloween stuff. Make sure to come here and show off your cool costumes. Also on Friday, the varsity football team is playing Alberta at their field. Make sure you go out and support your classmates on the field. Good luck, football team. And that's all that's happening on the Bluff this week. For this spooky season, Adrian will be interviewing a kindergarten class about their Halloween plans. Hello, Admirals. So I'm Adrian, and I'm going to be interviewing kids from Ms. Rourke's class in the ECC. They're in kindergarten, and they will be talking about Halloween. What do you want to be for Halloween this year, Abby? Jojo Siwa. A vampire. I'm Elena, a alpha from, from, from Elena. Mm, a vampire. I'm going to be a ferret. A hot dog. A panther. A ghost. A monster. A witch. Spider-Man. Elsa. Ash. A ninja. Unicorn rider. What's your favorite candy? Chocolate. A chocolate. 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 I'm chocolate. Suckers. Kit Kat, Kim's Corns, Skittles, Eminem's, Hershey's, Twix. And that was Miss Rourke's class telling you to have a happy Halloween. Stay safe, Admirals. Bye, Admirals. Thanks, Adrian. Many students have never ventured into the White House, but one of our reporters were able to interview three White House faculty to see what supernatural events have happened in the White House. Welcome. Today, we will be interviewing three people from the White House and see what ghost stories they have about this. So, have you all had any ghost uh, experiences here at the White House? Whenever I've been here working by myself, like I hear other people in the building, except nobody's here in the building, so now I, I refuse to work in this building by myself because I'm convinced it's haunted. Oh, wow. <laughs> I agree that it is scary to be in this <laughs> building by yourself. <laughs> So I've had, I think, two experiences. Um, one was a couple years ago, and there were a few of us standing over near the uh, entrance to the workroom in the building, and all of a sudden this really cold, cool breeze went by, and it made the back, of, you know, the hair on the back of your neck stand up, and there were no doors open, air didn't kick on, and it just came and went, and it was really creepy. <laughs> And then more recently, so this summer, you know, we had the roof worked on in this building. And um, so I guess it was right after school started. We were out front and we kept hearing this knocking. And I looked around, it's like, well, the roofers aren't here today. And I think Miss Willis heard it too. And so I finally, I had to come back in the building and I yelled upstairs. It's like, is anybody up there? What is this knocking noise? No one was upstairs and it kept knocking. And yeah, the lights flicker in this room all the time. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Too. Talking they're talking about them. about them and they hear us. And they're all going now. So anyway, <laughs> those are my stories. I don't really have a story. I'm here to dispute. I do not believe that the house is haunted. However, I like to laugh at Natalie for thinking that it is and being afraid to work here alone. Now, her closet upstairs is a little bit weird. I can go inside and I'll be screaming out talking to her about something and then I turn around the door's completely shut and I, I don't know how it closed but I don't think it's haunted I think it's just the door's not right so yeah with my uh, few minutes being in here with the lights flickering and such I mean I do think it may be haunted <laughs> what do y'all think back to the studio I don't know that I'm really one that believes in ghosts but uh I also believe that uh, I don't always understand everything that goes on in the world. You know, and I started thinking back about in my career, uh, 
This is my 30th year teaching, and I've taught at two other schools, and both of those schools had ghosts. Um, my first teaching, uh, I saw firsthand things that would happen in the uh, auditorium there. Uh, it was a very large auditorium, and at night sometimes when I might be working on projects there, I would turn out all the lights and leave through a backstage door only to forget my coffee cup or something and I would go back in and uh, the lights were all turned back on. So I come to Bayside and I don't find any ghost. And that really, you know, kind of was, was a different thing for me. So I started looking at the history of, of Bayside and realizing that uh, Bayside was, you know, obviously not always a school. But uh, Captain William Howard actually built what's now the White House here. And so uh, he decided this would be a great place for a resort. This was called Howard's Hotel. And um, after Mr. Howard becomes older uh, and everything, uh, you know, the Civil War breaks out. And actually, what's now the White House was actually uh, bombed during the northern blockade of, of Mobile Bay. It also, uh, after the Civil War, became the site, since there was no courthouse in this region, it became the site of, um, of the courthouse. And the oak tree that we still have here today, with its low-hanging limbs, uh, oftentimes the, the court was held outside, and it was said that people would climb up in the oaks and sit in the oaks to watch the different uh, court trials that would happen. And the oak tree became known as the jury oak because of the people sitting in the oak tree. And you know, if you get here really early in the morning sometimes, or if you're here late at night, uh, there's always a nice little breeze blowing and you've got that Spanish moss hanging in those trees. So what secrets is that jury oak holding? Ooh, that, that's scary right that, That's scary right there. <laughs> Finally, Logan traveled to the Bayside Gym where the volleyball team was having senior night. Hi, I'm Logan Brown, and behind me, one of the best teams in the state of Alabama play. Our very own Bayside Admiral, your game, and they're playing Spanish. Crap! So it is bound to be a really good game. They've already played two times this year, and the first time they played, Bayside came all the way back and whooped them. And the second game, we lost. So yeah, let's go. Let's go, Ben! Let's go! Look at this How dude. You <laughs> game? Yes! Oh, you know, we were losing at first, we came back 3-1, to one, you know, one first set, brought the one second one. Let's go! Yeah! I'm here with Ben, Brett, and Jackson. Four's down! How do you guys feel right now? I feel great. Fantastic! Goodbye! Y'all knock that crap out. Everybody wants to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Thanks, Logan. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Admiral TV. If you want to see more of us, subscribe to our YouTube channel and to watch more episodes. Have a great week and go Admiral.